Hey, my dear Aquarian friends, this is Maxine Taylor, and I have your fabulous forecast in front of me. Um, and I'll get to it in just a second, but I'm, I've got to share this with you. My latest book, Take Back Your Money, based on my Take Back Your Life series, is going to be available October 5th on Amazon and on my website, MaxineTaylor.com. Um, <clears throat> this book is um, a step-by-step -step approach to helping you release the programming you received when you were just a little kid. And this programming, when it comes to money, is what everybody is feeling now. And so with this book, you will be able to step-by-step step, see your programming clearly and release it and replace it. And this is what I do. This goes beyond astrology. There's no astrology in this. This the Astrology shows you what the problem is. This solves it for you. It gets you past the issue. So if... Uh, if you would like a private session with me, I offer those. They're three hours in length and they are aimed at you. Uh, they are tailored to your financial situation so that the book is wonderful and even more wonderful, of course, is having somebody sit there with you on Zoom face-to-face -face for three hours and carry you through step by step because I will hear things that you may not be aware of that I'll share with you. Um, if you're interested in that, just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. <clears throat> and under the spiritual coaching tab, you will find uh, the session listed, the take back your money session. So, October 5th, Amazon, or my website, this will be available to you. And now, let me show you your amazing forecast for the month of October. Let's start with Mercury. Mercury will go direct tomorrow. Now, what it will do is move into the shadow of the retrograde Mercury, so that until it moves out of that shadow on October 15th, it's going to feel like Mercury is still retrograde. It's not, but it will feel that way. Use this shadow period as the opportunity to tie up the loose ends of unfinished business that you didn't get to when Mercury was retrograde. Okay? Now, on the 30th of October, Mars will go retrograde. This, is, this doesn't happen as often as Mercury does. Mercury goes retrograde three times a year. Mars is action and energy. When it goes retrograde, it doesn't confuse things like Mercury does. It just flatlines. And nothing moves forward, particularly in commerce and industry, which affects all of us. And so Mars moves much more slowly than Mercury, and it will not finish its retrograde and second shadow cycle until March 15th, 2023. But I'll take you through this month by month. Just hang in there. We'll get through this together, okay? So let's talk about what's going on. Let's, let's start with Mars. Mars is in your fifth house of kids, children, and these can be your pets as well. But this is the area of fun and games. And with Mars retrograde, there may be a holding back on fun. I'm saying don't hold back if you possibly can. But when it's retrograde, there can be a holding back. Wherever Mars is, is number one in your life. It's what you fight with and fight for. And so if you have kids, there may be some issue that you're resolving, you're trying to resolve with them. Once, Mer once Mars goes direct, 
it will make it easier for you. Jupiter, the planet of abundance, it is the greater benefic. It is awesome. It brings expansion. It brings money. It brings joy. It, 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 it is just one of the good guys of the zodiac. Venus is the lesser benefic. And so Jupiter and Venus are the good guys. It's in your third house. It is retrograde now. And this means that you've got great ideas, but they may, you may not be able to express them the way you would like to. On the 28th, I was going to grab my glasses, but I, I know this point. It moves into your second house of money. It's going to stay there and it's going to go direct there, which means you're giving yourself a second opportunity to create more money. So hang in there with me because when it goes direct, I will let you know. Now let's look up here at Mercury, the blue planet. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. It's the planet of communication. It's not an active planet, an action planet, I should say, but it's a thinking planet. It's been in your eighth house, and so you have been looking uh, beneath the surface at what is really going on. This is a time of um, looking at joint finances, but of getting to the bottom of things. On the 10th, Mercury moves into your ninth house and you see a bigger picture. You're thinking about travel. You're thinking about um, higher education, perhaps, but you're seeing opportunities you didn't know you had before. With Mercury is the sun, the yellow planet, and Venus, the pink planet. The sun is the center of our lives. The pink planet is Venus, love, beauty. Um, and so wherever Venus is, is what you love. And you love people from other countries. You love expanding your horizons. The sun there says, go for your beliefs. Put your principles into action. I love it. On the 23rd of the month, the sun and Venus move into your 10th house. And this is the house of your career. It's the area of leadership. And so the sun in your 10th house is you as the leader. And Venus is your public image as loving leader. Mercury is going to be in your 10th house. It'll move into your 10th house on the 29th of the month and you'll be communicating more. You'll be thinking more in terms of being the leader. This is great for your career. I just love it. Now, we have a full moon on October 9th. The full moon is when things come to a head. Okay, it's in 16 degrees of Aries. It's in your third house of the conscious mind. So you've got all kinds of wonderful ideas, maybe travel plans, but communication, correspondence, and transportation, absolutely triggered. Um, and so you're going to bring your ideas to a head, not you. you. Your ideas will come to a head. And this may be the time that you write start writing that great story you've been thinking about writing. We have a new moon on October 25th, which is a solar eclipse. Eclipses are powerful. We feel the effects of an eclipse a week or two before it happens and until the next pair of eclipses come along, but they're at their peak three to four months after they occur. Well, there's a, we will have an eclipse in November that will be the second uh, in the pair of eclipses. So this eclipse in two degrees of Scorpio on the 25th activates your 10th house of leadership. And because it's an eclipse, this can be a new career for you or an advancement in your other, your old career. If this eclipse falls on your sun, your moon, or your ascendant, it's a new life eclipse, and that will last between a year and two, two years. Um, give yourself a five-degree orb 
between the eclipse and the, and the sun, the moon, or the ascendant. Um, but this eclipse is powerful for you because you are the leader. And it is established and it is so. So have an awesome, awesome October. And join me next month when once again, I take a look at your forecast and give you that second eclipse in the pair. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.